These NATO weapons have all been captured during Moscow's special military operation in Ukraine. Now on display in central Moscow, they are a powerful symbol of Russia's fighting prowess. Between 1941 and 1944, military equipment captured from Germany in the Second World War was presented here. Today there is the equipment from the special military operation and it shows with whom we are fighting. We are not fighting with Ukraine, we are fighting with NATO. Russian officials say that each example of foreign equipment reveals the heroism, courage and ingenuity of Russian soldiers. This exhibition in Moscow's Victory Park has a collection of over 30 military exhibits from 12 mostly NATO countries, including the US, the UK, Germany and France. On the information stands, visitors can learn not only the tactical specifications of the weaponry, but also where it was produced and under which circumstances it was captured. Veterans of Russia's operation in Ukraine will work as guides for the visitors, and their message is well understood. It's important to exhibit. I think it will raise the patriotism in the country. People should see the horrors of military actions, should see that nobody is unbeatable. We will win. We, the people who are protected, need to see their heroism. My brother is there. I am proud of him. All this just days after Washington approved more military aid to Ukraine and after Moscow vowed to intensify its strikes on logistics centers and storage facilities housing Western weapons in Ukraine. Russia feels it is on the front foot. The West has no plan for Ukraine. Uh, Russia's plans are vague, but the West just has no plan. It's clear that the West wants Ukraine to win. In what way? How that victory could look like? That is not explained. So the only way for the Western leaders to respond to Russia's successes is to double down, sending more weapons. And that's a response to this Western response, okay? You double, in, you double down, sending more weapons. These weapons are exhibited in Moscow. In the meantime, Russia's defense ministry has accelerated its own production of weapons. The arms industry now plays an increasingly dominant role in the Russian economy, a role that is reflected in society in terms of jobs and local investments. And as Russians warily watch events unfold on the battlefield, there seems to be an acceptance that they are in it for the long haul.